cast says we're going to get all four seasons, so we can't wait. Like the journey is done, two and a half hours on the train to Warrnambool. Now we're going to get an hour and a half bus to Portland. Oh, morning, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, they got me uh, door closed on me there. Scenery, very green. Lots of cows. Yeah, lots of sheep. sheep. And cows. <laughs> and now we're almost there. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, sounds good. seats there where we wanted to sit. I'm not sure why. So we're five or six rows back, it's not too bad, but the first seat's always better, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Good, yourself? Good, good. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it's in that one. In the middle. In the middle. Oh, middle, oh. sorry. <laughs> Thank you, it's quite heavy. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate that. Have a good day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, we've made it to Portland. We got off the bus to some pouring rain. We headed into the Tourist Information Centre to get ourselves a map. They unfortunately didn't have one. <laughs> so we have this beautiful map to go off. Um, so we're starting the Great Southwest Walk from Portland and we're heading in towards the forest area. Our first campsite is 20k from here called Cubbies. So hopefully we get there before duck. We should probably give more information on the Great Southwest Walk. It's 252 kilometers, we didn't tell you that. It starts in Portland and goes on a massive loop around through the forest, back on towards the beach, and in back in Portland. It's like a big circle. I really want to see a wombat, but it says wombat. I'll probably see an echidna, so yeah. rather. I'm probably most excited to see snakes. You want to see a snake? Oh. Lots of kangaroos, kookaburras. And I'm also excited to see like the coastline coming back into Portland. Yeah, that's what's really nice. So we may or may not be 10 kilometers. No, just less than 10 kilometers, I think. We've so far walked on muddy paths, inner city paths, grass, sand. Bit of everything now we're on like a driveway of sorts there was a lady who actually was camping on the side who pulled up in her car and asked us if, she, if we wanted a shot of us walking away and she'd bring our camera back which was really lovely um, and otherwise we're hoping to make camp by 6 p.m and the sun has come out so woohoo you were struggling <laughs> jump all right you take the camera Cheers. Oh. oh! It's on a bit of an angle, feels like I'm gonna like go head over biscuit or something like that. Yeah, no, right. How stable is this? I feel like it was pretty stable. Uh. Oh, oh shit! Did you touch that? It's, it's actually electric! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I just took all my uh, camera gear out of my bag and the power banks, two power banks, like 500 grams each. So heavy on Gavin to Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's carrying like an extra kilo and a half and I'm just got the camera out of my bag now and I've lost the power bank so now I'm, Running up the hill. I'm yeah, two kilos lighter than I originally was. So I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> See ya. 
<laughs> what was that? Seems like something somewhere an echidna would be. Oh, I hope I can see an echidna. Oh, we're out of the wind as well, which is good. This is the beginning of the forest part if you're wondering what it looks like. Actually, it's quite nice. Oh, we don't want to get uh, run over here. Sure is. We kind of, well, we didn't get lost. We came onto another main road straight out of the forest and we couldn't see any of the Great South West walk bread triangle things. <laughs> walking. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to a highway. Turns out this this power throws everything at you. You got a highway, it's forest, beach, farm. Okay farm. fellas. It's intriguing. Just driveways. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him right there. Look he's staring at me. Oh, I wish my lens zoomed in a bit more. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's, he's up on his two feet. He's big. Well, he looks big. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Oh, aren't they just amazing? And that is exactly why they are my favorite animal. Glorious creatures. So I start boxing you on their feet and that, and then with their tail. Whew! Scary. Besides that, they good. Boys, where are you going? Oh, I don't smell that bad just yet. It's only been half a day. I don't think they like me, Lauren. Oh, hello, Billy Collie. No, I don't think they like me. They didn't want to say hello to me. Quite rude, I thought. Really looking forward to seeing them. Hello down there. What's up? You're gonna get off the train track. Maybe. Having fun? Yeah. So we passed this train rail, I don't know, 35 minutes ago. And it took us into like a little bit of forest and we thought, oh we are gonna be into the forest now. Away from everything. But then that little forest just led us straight back to the the train um, the train tracks. And now we're walking along here for god knows how long. So who knows where we end up. But we haven't really left civilization yet. There's been lots of houses and roads and traffic. So different than what we thought it would be so far, but it's only the first day. It's taken a while, but after five hours of hiking, we've made it to our first campsite, Chubby's Camp. And there's no one here but us. Lauren's very excited. Um, she's sore. Sore feet, sore legs, but that's expected to be the first day. All in all, we're very happy to reach camp. It's about 6.30 p.m. We're about to cook some dinner, set up the tent, and just sit, sit back and relax in this little hut here by ourselves.
Let's see if it goes. Alright, alright. The art of Migorang. First, bamboo. Oh, oh it smells delicious. I'm like, you're sour cream. I feel like I remember the Migorang being really spicy, like I shouldn't put all the chili sauce in it. You gotta chuck it all in. You have to chuck it all in. There. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, look at that. So many components. Just stand this up. Ooh, hot damn. Hot diggity, isn't it? No idea. Yeah. Just so excited. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, so good. Maybe some more chili sauce. Oh, I knew you'd go back for it. You can never have enough chili sauce. Is it worth a wait? Yeah, it was actually. I did think about it a lot. I went to the juice a bit at the end. Mm. Mm. 